Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro C. Hey, collective, hey, collective, what's up, boo? <laughs> flowers, 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 hey y'all. <laughs> I'm back on my bullshit. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. Y'all, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the tips. Thank you for the advice. Um... Thank you for uh, supporting me in any way, shape, or form. You are truly, 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 truly appreciated. So I'm going to give you flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. All right, so let's get into this channel message. Now, I want to laugh, <laughs> and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get out my sister. Because, all right, okay. Because I can see some of y'all. Why are you laughing at that? Because I have to fuck Ken. Shit. Anywho. <clears throat> so, channel message here is that um, the movie The Craft. So, I was in a similar setup or similar uh, reality. So... There were four girls. There were four girls. Um, and if you are familiar with the crafts, they really worked around the hoodoo Wicca, more Wicca. And this group of girls, they had air, water, earth, and fire, but they were doing things in the negative, of course. Now, they did something recently on this past moon. I think it was the new moon or full moon. I don't remember, child, but there was a moon that just passed by. Anyways, they did something on this uh, on this moon cycle. And they were aiming more so for beauty. So they were doing beauty spells. Or so this person is uh, now switching. They were doing death spells at first. And they realized that death spells ain't working. Well, now they feel like they can bring death to, the, to your beauty. So they've been doing a lot of heavy beauty spells here. And, um... My spirit was like, you know, nudge me, look, just look. And I just looked up, I got about my bed, set up up my bed, and I just looked, what I had a little vision, and I saw, and I saw these four women chanting, chanting, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? So I'm like, okay. And they just kept doing it over and over. They were so they were so adamant about you being ugly. Oh, you're ugly. You're this. You're dirty. You're this. And I'm like, look at this shit. Shit is so fucking cute. But anywho, they were also aiming towards your hair. Okay, so you may get a lot of compliments on your hair. All right, or just compliments. Period. As to who you are. And this group of women, or they're not women, but you get my drift. These pissy, pissy ass little girls here. They're upset because um, of your face, your futures, your attributes, your Venus structures, you know, what makes you, you, okay? Now, I forgot to mention in the dream state that this person was aiming, was aiming everything for, everything that signifies beauty towards you, but more so your face and your hair. Um, and they were trying to make your hair fall out. So they were working with different types of, some really crazy shit, acid, all this weird uh, Clorox bleach, which is so fucking dangerous. But anywho, that's another time, another story. Um, they're using a lot of um, da dangerous um, accelerants just to make sure that it's going to stick. And what ended up happening to this person is that they end up, their hair ended up falling out, okay? So there's someone that was doing some beauty spells for you here. They really want you to look ugly toward, words, towards the world and they have no idea what's getting ready to happen to them. Not only are their face are going to be 
Hey. Now I see why y'all said don't laugh at this. But damn, man. All right, I'm going to be serious. Okay, for real. I'm going to be serious. <clears throat> God damn, man. It takes all the fun out of me. I'm not even going to hold you. It takes all the fun out of me. But all right, on a serious tip here. This person's getting ready to lose their hair, okay? Um, and what was so unique to them losing their hair is that in my dream state, my spirit literally pushed the video or the movie to that exact part when Marsha, remember Marsha from um, um, not Beverly Hillbillies, what's that, a Birdie Bunch, and she was always looked at as the beautiful one and stuff like that. Well, she was in that movie as well, too. And she was actually making fun of one of the girls who were at having issues with her body and stuff like that. And she was on the floor in the in the shower room or the locker room where the girls were, and her hair started falling out in clumps. And that's what's getting ready to happen to this person. Not only is their hair getting ready to fall out in clumps, oh, their face is about to be disfigured as well, too. As above, so below. What you put out in the universe is what you're going to get. It's truly that simple. And this... All right. <laughs> ah. Mystery. We also have authority. Damn it. All right. Mystery. This is a karmic that I'm speaking about here. All right, y'all. Damn. All right. We got mystery. Here we got authority. Authority is in reverse and mystery is upright. So there's no mystery as to what they have been doing behind your back in regards to your Venus. I'll just say your Venus attributes. And this can go for masculine as well too, okay? So feminine or masculine energy, okay? Take it how it resonates here. But authority is in reverse. They have no authority over the mysteries that are about to hit them like a ton of bricks. Meaning they can't see the supernatural. They can't see the energies. They can't see the spirits that are around them that is going to cause this. This is a detrimental thing, catastrophic thing. Because this person, they... Hmm. Beauty is their, is their thing. They thrive on being beautiful or handsome. This is what gets them by. But yet they're wanting to sabotage you, your natural beauty, your natural handsomeness. They feel like they're the only one that can have that naturally. Okay. Mm. <sighs> Whatever you say, partner. Mm. Whatever you say. Mm. <laughs> that what you say Practice self-care and self-love. Hmm. Overwhelmed by responsibilities. Hmm. <sighs> so, this is the four-leaf clover. But this person needs to seek a new purpose in life here. Um, man. All right, I have to be serious. I'll just say it this way. This person is causing so much chaos here that the, the amount of chaotic energy that they have pushed out into the universe here is now starting to trickle down into the mundane, the third, the 3D world here. <clears throat> and there are some people here that are looking to fight this person and they're not going to play fair. I'll say that. 
This person is known for sleeping around with other people's men. And there are some people out here that don't go for that. <clears throat> I'm trying to be careful what I say. I want to say what I want to say, but I can't say what I want to say. Because this is a future read. <clears throat> That person face is going to get done and I'll just say that. Because they play with backfire spell work. This person, wow, this person has a lot of people that want to fight. They have a lot of people in their head. This karmic energy here that's doing this dumb shit, this weird shit here. They got a lot of people that's looking for them. I can't make this shit up if I wanted to. Yeah. Unexpected death, frustrations, unpleasant surprises. This person is not, this karmic is not the only person so you're not the only person this karmic has done this to. They have done this to a lot of people here. They've been actually successful with the spell where I'm not going to sit here and lie that they have not been. Oh, yeah. With you, I don't believe. No. But with others, absolutely. They were successful with doing ugly spells and other types of facial alteration spells because they were really trying to alter the way that people see you in the world you're too handsome you're way too pretty you're way too handsome and you're way too pretty <clears throat> and they need you out of they need they just need you out they you you it's like when you walk in a room you just light up the day you light up the room as you should collect them i mean what else we here for huh what we here for? <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, this person is going to lose their hair and their face are going to be disfigured. Anyone that they see as a threat, they're, they're just... Anyone that they see is doing better than them, look better than them, prettier, handsome, whatever the case may be. Their first thing is to literally try to go for your face or aim for your face here. Um, this person is not a very... So they're very selective. They are they have selective outrage. They only go towards people that they know that they can beat, right? It's complicated in a way. Because they do these, they do this, these, these type of spell work, negative spell work, or I'll say adverse spell work, um, on people that, first of number one, don't know what's going on. Number two, they believe are weak, but number three, they wouldn't come up in in front of their face and say, "Hey, I have an issue with you." So that's why I say it's complicated. Like in real life, they're afraid of you. Like if they were to see you, they wouldn't say nothing to you. They would, they would, they would act like they don't even know you. But they have all this, but they have all this bark, but no fucking bite. I don't get it. But anywho, um, so you have protection from negative forces, purification, major life changes, and this is you, collective. This is also them as well too. Major life changes. You could be a water sign because water is here. So you could be a water sign. Nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing's going to happen to your face, your body, anything like that. Unless you collective decide to do something to your face, your body, whatever. That's the only thing that how things are going to change if you decide to do something to change. Okay. Yeah, you have good health, um, knowledge, wisdom, luxury, 
okay? You're accepting new responsibilities. You don't neglect yourself. Um, okay, so this is you here, collective, and this is the karmic. <laughs> Unfulfilled wishes, blaming others, dissatisfied with your choices. They're watching you and they're dissatisfied with your choices. <laughs> they regret relationship that do not see eye to eye. So because you you walked away, and this could be for a friend, a family, a a, a past ex, take a how it resonates here. But it really gives me more so shit, all of them. <laughs> I'm hearing bitter friend, bitter ex friend and bitter ex. Okay, whatever. You're too handsome. You're too pretty. <laughs> you ain't, I never hear no shit like that. You're too handsome. You're too pretty. What the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> what? Like, thank God I don't be around people like that. Because my crew, we be like, hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Hey, that's me and my crew. And if we can't hype both, if we can't hype each other up, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. I need both of us to be in a reciprocal state so we can both hype each other up. Hey, beautiful. Oh, girl, that look great on you. Yeah, you better. That's me. And that's my crew. Yeah, we reciprocate over here. <laughs> that's why we look the way we do. Because we make sure we take not only care of ourselves, we take care of our tribe, our circle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You got refinement here. All right. You looking damn good as you listen. Listen. Okay. Now, y'all about to, I'm pulling it here to the side real quick. Let me talk to you real quick. Collect it with your fine and your handsome and your beautiful self. I know that's right. You better do that. But look at you. Stand up and take a twirl, take a bow, a curtsy, however, a dab, a bow, because you looking good. And these motherfucking streets out here. <laughs> And people can't handle that. They can't take that. Boo, look at you. Looking all refined and refresh. Fish pop. <laughs> Somebody wants fish? I want to say fist pump, but I said fish pump. Somebody wants fish? <laughs> Um, refinement. Yeah, you're looking good. You're smelling good. You're feeling amazing. You're looking amazing here. You could be a Scorpio. What up, Scorpios? I see you. What up, Scorpios? <laughs> Look, you glow up. It's getting big energy big energy i said big energy <laughs> you could be a virgo yo you you give big energy listen collective collective yes you looking damn Good. Yes. Vitality. You could be a Taurus. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be a Virgo. Dealing with the Virgo. You could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio here. You like because you stepped into this refinement energy here. You could be working out, walking, eating right, looking right. You're paying attention to what you consume. Yeah, you're letting go of things that no longer serve you. I am so proud. I am so proud of you. I am truly, for the ones that are doing what they are supposed to do, I am truly proud of you. I am. <laughs> this is great. This is great. You hear me? Great. <laughs> And it's longevity. And with the longevity brings love. What's up, boo? <laughs> All right. Now, 
right, Scorpio is here a lot. A Scorpio is, um, this is the second sign that Scorpio came out. All right, and so either you are a Scorpio like myself, okay, what up, Scorpio, I see you, or you're actively in your, um, you're, acti you're actively elevating, enhancing your life, right? So you're, you're letting go of all the things that are dead to walk through or to have this new rebirth, okay? So you could be in your Scorpio energy as well, too. Or you could be a Capricorn dealing with the Capricorn. Take a hot resonates here. But so far, all these cards are upright so far. And I'm like truly loving this here. Refinement. Because you refine yourself, you brought forth more energy or you took back your energy from the leeches that wanted to just take from you. And that brought forth um, big vitality or more so re it reinvigorate, reinvigorated you or reinvigorated your life for life. And because of that, it's bringing you nothing but longevity of luck. I'm here for that. I am here for that. I'm here for that. <laughs> <laughs> affection all right so you could be dealing with the Taurus or Taurus then the reason why affection came out is because now you're bringing forth or you are more people are drawn to you because of your affectionate ways and with that brings hate envy and we don't give a fuck about that we don't Go where you celebrate it, not tolerate it. Abundance. Mm. Now look how this story went from negative to positive. Look how that transmutation worked. Okay. You could be a Sag. You're dealing with the Sag here. Affection and abundance. <laughs> Regeneration. And you could be an Aries. I'm so here for this. Everyone is seeing. <laughs> Everyone. Including family. <laughs> See how you're being devoted. And they don't like that. I'm talking about these, these niggas. These dusty niggas. These nothing of niggas. Nothingness of niggas is what they are. They have nothing. Nothingness of these niggas. Yuck. Identities in reverse. <clears throat> they have no identity. Their identity is through your through your eyes. They want to live life through your eyes and not theirs. <clears throat> because they realize living life through their eyes is much more harsh than living life through your eyes. Or so they think. This is what they perceive of you. You have everything. You always get everything. Don't worry about that. Worry about your shit. Worry about your nasty ass grass that you got on your side of your stank ass lawn. Don't worry about what the collective got on their side of the yard. Worry about what the fuck you got over there. Why worry about why your grass so motherfucking patchy and brown and dry, bitch. And then that's metaphorically speaking. For some, it might be physically speaking. For real, for real. Or directly speaking. Worry about why your grass is patchy and bald headed. <clears throat> like uh, Cynthia the doll from Rugrats. Don't worry about the collector. Worry about your shit, bitch. Worry about why your money, why you don't have any money. Your great fortune is, is completely been taken from you. Why is that? Because you worrying about the collective. Don't worry about the collective. Go get some water for that patchy ass grass, bitch. If you have grass at that, go get some cement. Cement. For your goddamn sidewalk sidewalk is cracking but you worry about the collective you need to uh you need to break down that tree 
Somebody need to cut a tree down in their yard or off their um <clears throat> their home. Cause that tree's getting ready to cause a lot of damage if it's not uprooted. It needs to be cut down. Yep, you got a false person here watching you and just only doing ugly spells because everything else they have done doesn't work <laughs> you're pathetic you're pathetic <laughs> i was gonna say you're pathetic patty <laughs> Somebody name could be Patty. Don't bring your pathetic ass over here, Patty or Patricia. That shit. Don't bring your ass over here. I said it. All right, I'm gonna just do a couple of letters. I ain't gonna do a lot in this video, but the next one I will. <laughs> Somebody name is Orum. Orum was actually a, a cartoon on Cartoon Network, but it was considered one of those older, <clears throat> like late night cartoons. I think it was called Orum Speaks. It was on Adult Swim. <clears throat> Somebody wants more of you. They may like the way you do things, so they want more, like an encore. And this is positive here. You could be from Missouri, <clears throat> you could be from Michigan. All right, somebody really admires you. A-D-M-I-R-E. I don't have the A or the D, but it resonates or it resonates or more so it makes sense to me. All right, <clears throat> somebody lives in the or states. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say that's Pennsylvania. I think Pennsylvania has like, it's, Pennsylvania is a steel state, the Western side of Pennsylvania. So someone could live between those states where they do like coal or mining. So West Pennsylvania, West Virginia, <clears throat> maybe Tennessee. I don't know if Tennessee does it, but I know West Virginia and I know for a fact like um, the western side of Pennsylvania deals with those type of elements over there. Um, somebody could be from Rhode Island. All right, somebody name is Rihanna or Re. Somebody's going to Rio de Janeiro, which is Brazil. Somebody is preserving their computer with a CD, CD ROM. So you may still work with CDs or CD ROMs. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody name is Romeo. <clears throat> R-O-M-E-L. Someone's going to Rome, Italy. Someone's going backpacking. Someone could be from Maine. Someone has a pest problem, a pest control problem, like roaches and mice in their home eradicate. It will be taken care of. It all will be taken care of. You won't have that issue anymore. Someone loves rim or more so um, like drinking, but they like um, sugar around the rim of their drinks. All right, somebody likes to be rimmed as well. We all adults here. Somebody, there's a man that likes to be rimmed. That's all I'm saying. We all adults here. So, whatever. Somebody's practicing their ums, you know, the meditation, which is good. All right, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> so, we have 10 files and Capricorn. South node. First house. South node. Virgo. Moon. Third house. Let's 
Scorpio. All right. So I said Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Sag. Aries. Cancer. I'll do two. Ooh, two more. Scorpio. One more. Pisces. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Till next time.